Um, as many of you would rather not know, Sean is a huge fan of the movie The Warriors. Has everybody really heard that? Uh, for those of you not familiar with the movie, it's a 1979. Warriors. Warriors. The Warriors. <laughs> it's, a, it's a movie from 1979. Come out and play. Come out That's the chorus. To one of the chants, and we're going to have Sean do that later. <laughs> anyway, it's a '79 movie. It's about a uh, it's about a gang from New York City who's being chased by every other gang from New York City for a crime they didn't commit, but they probably should have. Blah 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 blah. It's a terrible movie. But Sean, you know, he really hit home with him regarding his suburban childhood. And you get a couple beers in him, and he can recite the entire film from memory, and that's with or without the dialogue. It's like he's Rain Man, but his skill is completely useless. <laughs> what many of you don't know is that he actually wrote a letter to his favorite warrior, which is an actor named James Remar, a few years ago, but Sean never heard back from him. Well, luckily we know someone who knows someone who knows someone who knows James Remar's agent, and it turns out that he actually did get the letter. And his original response, unless it got lost in the mail, Sean never got it. And he asked, actually us, and in this case I get the pleasure of reading this letter from James Remar to you. Right. Dear Sean, sorry for such a delayed response. I hope you didn't interpret it as a sign of me not appreciating you, the self-proclaimed number one James Remar fan on the Eastern Seaboard. I'd like to take this time to congratulate you on your roast. Though I'm sure some jokes have been made at your expense, what else is new? Take it as a testament of, as to how much your friends and business associates really do care about you, or at least about your utility as an object of their entertainment. Definitely savor evenings like this, as they are some of the sweetest you will ever have. Sad. <laughs> Since you never received my original response, I'd also like to take the time to answer the list of questions from your original letter to me. <laughs> Number one, yes, the film The Warriors was the highlight of my life too. Number two, yes, I do send autographs to some people. Number three, no, I don't still have my costume from the movie, so that guy you bought it from was probably telling the truth. <laughs> Number four, I have three cats, two dogs, strictly platonic. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Number five, though you're offered a crash at your place whenever I'm, in, whenever I'm in New Jersey is generous, I don't sleep comfortably when manacled to a free spinning Catherine wheel. <laughs> the Catherine wheel is the thing you tie people to and spins around. Forrest explained that to me. <laughs> Number six, I'm not sure what to say about the photos you sent, except that you are clearly very proud of your naked form. <laughs> Having a healthy body image is important. Number seven, no, I haven't ever wondered what it's like to kiss another man in the mouth. <laughs> Did you mean another man, as in not yourself, or as in yet another man? Uh, number eight, it's a tie between chocolate chip cookie dough and mint chocolate chip. Number nine. No, I never fantasized about you in the Egyptian pharaoh outfit, and no, I'm sure it won't make a difference in person either. Number ten. Sean, it's important that you never mistake infatuation for love. Number eleven. Please never ask me or anyone else that question again. And number twelve. I think you should tell the police about how the Sean Collins... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think you should tell Sean. I think you should tell the police about how the Sean Collins that wrote this letter would never hurt you, but the bad Sean. <laughs> Congratulations again, James Remar. P.S. Please carefully examine the attached training order. <laughs>